hello everyone welcome to my channel and i welcome you again and uh, we still we are talking about uh, jesus uh, our lord and pre precious uh, jesus christ if it is my first uh, first time you visit my channel i suggest that you um you do one thing you just click on that subscribe button down there and you also you can click on that bell button for notifications for the future notifications when i upload new videos and i just remind you that i have made a lot of videos that were so much interesting about the teachings of jesus christ and if it is actually your first time you visit this channel so i just i just i just tell you one thing that jesus has told you if you do my commandments if you love me and you do my commandments my father will love you and i will love you and we will both come and live inside of you and this is actually the secret of being filled with the holy spirit and uh, this is uh, how you can be filled with holy spirit in a very natural way that the holy spirit come from heaven and fill you so i have a lot of videos that are speaking about everything and if you want to know the meaning of being born again you can also find that video and um, today so i continue with the lesson about the power of obedience the power of obedience you know jesus was obedient to his father to the point he, he humbled himself to that point that he was not the devil was not even if the devil used so much to tempt him but jesus with all his obedience he 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 conquered the devil because at that moment i was talking about in my previous video that time when jesus was in the desert or in the wilderness there and he was he fasted for 40 days and he was totally hungry after that 40 days day and night without food and then the devil came and was tempting him to turn bread to turn stones to bread but jesus answered him that a human son we shall not i mean nobody can, shall live with only we shall not live with only bread but every word that comes out of the from the moon of god you know that when the devil is coming to you and asking you to turn that stone to bread what would you say you say that human shall not live with only bread but everything that comes from the mouth of god and this is exactly what jesus said and the, i told you the bread it can be anything it can be bad relationship it can be maybe bad job that you will make you start to live in sins it can be bad money it can be anything that maybe it look good and on outside but inside there is it's very bad so you have to think that we shall not only live with bread alone but everything that comes out of the mouth of god and this is actually the obedience in the of very high level at that moment when you are very hungry that moment when you are in very needy and that is the time when the devil will come and start to tempt you to do bad things and this is how you can reject the devil and the devil's lies and also uh, it was about uh, the devil started using uh, tempted him by using the scripture by showing him the scripture and telling him jump down from the from, jump down because of the the it has been written that God will order His angels to come and you know if for Jesus maybe it could be like he maybe if Jesus was someone else maybe it could be say that let me try I mean, let me do this to show the devil that I am really the Son of God because it, Jesus didn't know who himself who is and he, the devil was not able to tempt him by using the scripture because Jesus he knew the scripture and he gives us know that you shall not 
take, put your guard to test. And this was the, something else that Jesus told him that he was not able to obey what the devil was telling him because he is not living after the commands of the devil. He is not either going to test his God because of that. This God, he was talking about his father, his father, because his father, Jesus is calling God his father. It is his father, but it, he called him also his God, if you don't know that. So, this is something that you should know that Jesus is very humble, very humble to that point. He did not want to say that I am God. You know this? Why do you think that you should tempt me? But he just let the devil do what he was doing. He was just trashing himself in front of Jesus because Jesus knew everything about the devil. And the devil is showing him everything about, showing him some things like he took him to the to the high point so, and he showed him the everything the world and he told him if I can give you all those things if you obey me by you bow down and worship me and the Jesus told the devil go away because it is written you shall worship only your God so this is actually the devil he was tempted to trying to negotiate with Jesus to make Jesus to want to take shortcuts because Jesus had a great mission and that mission was to save the world and the devil was trying to negotiate with him so that the Jesus maybe could turn could, could um, forsake his father by or you know by joining the devil's lies by starting to worship the devil and I have been told that there is some people these days that have sold their souls to the devil and they are worshiping the devil the devil is a liar when he is the devil is telling you that you worship me so I can give you everything because all the things are mine remember that the devil does not own anything in this world the devil does not own anything in this world everything that is in this world it belongs to God even that say that gold is mine a diamond is mine that means that if you obey God in the right time all those things will be yours you understand but when you started to take that shortcuts you can just end up to be nothing at at, at the last time, you know there's these people who sell their souls to the devil. Suddenly you f you hear that they are dead. Do you know where they are going? You understand this? And uh, these people, they can die very suddenly. And uh, this is all, most of them, they die like this. And uh, this is their, this is their um, actual destiny, to die like this. And it, to perish, because it is not dying, it is perishing. When you die without Christ, you perish, you will be tormented in fire the day and the night. You know this, yeah? And the devil is just a liar, is a liar, is a very liar, is a thief, is a liar, and he is the father of it. And when he devil talk, he never talk from reality, he talk from himself, and he can tell you everything, he can promise you everything and he can just try to show to make a show like try to show you you will start to see like it is seem like you are succeeding but actually your life is going to be ruined because your soul is totally ruined at that moment and when you die you perish so remember my dear friend it's better you become obedient to your god listen to your god you know even the lord says that go through the door the, the way that try that is narrow this world this this way is going direct this road is going direct to heaven but then it's just going to this wide door this door is in this wide road this wide road is actually is going to um to 
to distraction. So make, make sure you, that you make the right choices in the right time. God will reward you. You will be rewarded. You will also reward it here and you will come to heaven and this is fantastic that you will also inherit the kingdom of God you will not perish when you die in Christ you are not dead at all because you are still alive very much alive you will be just enjoying with your loving ones those who also are died in Christ. You can also make new friends there. You can make hallelujah. Just thinking about that. Even if you die, you will make new friends there. You will have new children there. You will have everything that is you you think that you can you you think that you yes be living even much better than we are living here so it's much better for you to the obedience is much better than anything else and all the things it thinks they take that process and this is what the jesus humbled himself to that point and when after jesus left the wilderness because after when jesus kicked out the devil the angels came and he started to serve him they started to help him started to take care of him and jesus was 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 feeling okay and after that jesus went back to town back come back into town you know because jesus did not go back to where he was baptized in jordan and because he also heard that they so i'm just con this we find in mark chapter 1 verse 14 to 26 i just 26 i just made mistake right in here mark chapter 1 verse, so after when jesus left the wilderness he came back to town he went to a city it, it is a town called galilee and in that galilee he went to a place called capernaum when he started his, in galilee there is a, a place called capernaum when he started his work there at that moment jesus was full of the holy spirit and he went he started to preach along the street and he telling the people that the kingdom of God is near. He told the people to repent because the kingdom of God was near. And after that, he started to find his disciples. And then they went to the synagogue where Jesus was preaching there. And the preaching, when he was preaching there, this at that moment in that synagogue, he was preaching with authority. Do you understand? He was preaching with authority. Even those people were amazed with his teachings. And they really praised God for that because they, when they, they really respected him. He preached with authority. And when he was left living that, uh, he was living, he left that. Um, um when after he finished when he was going out then he met a man who was possessed by demons and when the demons saw jesus they started to scream because when they saw him they started to scream remember the devil was asking jesus if you are the son of god because the devil know who jesus is you understand even demons know who jesus is but so if you understand that the devil's power is in lying to you is telling you that is making you be not believe in yourself not believing in who you are not even believing in your anointing this is how the devil can win you when you are anointed the devil will try to make you believe that you aren't anointed you can't do anything so but jesus know his anointing even if when he was so much obedient to his father he was even 
very very humble that means that he know who he is and when he went to the synagogue and he met this this somebody who was possessed by demons when these demons saw jesus this man started to scream you know this man possessed by demons he started to scream and he told they told jesus what you jesus of nazareth did you come to destroy us we know who you are you are the holy one of god we know who you are so they started to scream they say that they know who jesus is and jesus just told them shut your mouth and get out of this person and these demons screamed and got out of this person and that was the first time this the people saw that the man was kicking out the devil with this authority for the first time they saw that it, this and jesus was they just praised god and they say they say that we have never seen something like this before never 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 and they praised god have you ever seen a person who has been possessed by demons and that he was been kicked out by anyone i think there is a lot of them now because jesus is saying that whoever who believe in me all what i'm doing they will do also even greater than what i have done only by believing in me because this is is a transform is a transition of the authority that jesus has given it to us so that if you believe in him you can do even greater miracles than what he has believed but remember you must also be filled with the holy spirit and the holy spirit is only been given by jesus christ you remember so this is the same thing but this is the so the people were so happy to see this happen and that and jesus was so much uh, respected in that area of capernaum and when he went out and in capernaum he did so many miracles you can read yourself from mark for chapter 1 14 to 26 at least you will find all those miracles that jesus did it was so much and it was so amazing you understand and this was his first this was the first time when jesus started his this is how jesus actually started his ministry I just told you that after that Jesus also went to Cana. I, I did not talk about the miracle that Jesus did in Cana. But Jesus also did a great miracle in Cana. In those in those all of those days Jesus was in the area of I'm going to talk about this another day. But today I just wanted to tell you this is actually the power of obedience. The obedience give power. When you obey God, you will have power. The power over your enemies. Hallelujah. The power over everyone. But the most of all you will have the power over the everything that nothing will defeat you in this world of course you know so it starts with obedience it starts by giving good fruits it starts by reading the word of god and obey it it starts by humbling yourself to that point i have been giving you the scripture how what how you can humble yourself to god to that point to god you understand obey giving praying praying for people praying for your friends praying for your enemies praying all those things are called the fruits of obedience and all this obedience will come to the point that you will have this power that power because jesus power is great jesus power is great in his power you can get everything in his power you can ask anything and you will get i'm going to continue with these lessons so we can under you can have more understanding of what i am talking about may god bless you so much my dear friend and if you have subscribed so may god bless you even extra
extra amen praise the living god i am we are going to talk more about this to the next maybe to the other videos but now i just have to pray for you i say may god please lord strengthen this person make this person to understand what I have been talking about. Reveal more about what I did not talk about. And make more make this person to understand even more. And make give him thirsty to start to seek you, Lord. I command the spirit of disobedience. Get out in the name of Jesus Christ. All the spirit of disease, spirit of all the kind of any kind of problems that is this person is going through has to end today in the name of jesus christ father i thank you because you are god who profit